Hey guys, Kelly here coming to you from my living room with Sweet Colby and Phoenix is here as well. So this is our follow-up video compounding around uh, if we're feeling a little bit stiff and sore from the open or in this case specifically a lot a lot of deadlifts. So the deadlifts involve big muscles in our lower body but as well as a lot of smaller muscles as well. So two of the big ones that can get sore are quadris lumborum or QL muscle. So it runs down here. Okay. There's also uh, muscles called the spinal erectors and they're tiny little long muscles that run up our spine. Okay. Spinal erectors help us stand tall. However, um, with high rep deadlifts of potentially a heavier weight than we're used to, uh, it's common where when the bigger muscles get tired, the smaller ones want to take over. The only problem with that is they are smaller, therefore less strong, fatigue quicker, and tend to get uh, a little upset with us that we push them that hard. So, the important thing to remember is just to keep moving, drink lots of water, um, muscle soreness and stiffness is a normal function of any type of physical, ac physical activity. It's really what we do with it after the fact or even before that matters. So in this sense, what you guys can do is you can just be at home okay, with your dogs or cats or kids, I don't know. You can start sitting on the floor. The first thing that we're going to do is a seated um, forward stretch with one leg. So you'll bring one leg into your groin, the other leg will be up tall. Just sitting nice and tall first and then you can walk your hands down, okay? For today, we're gonna keep the chest tall instead of leaning over, okay? So I'm just peeking at my big toe. You'll feel this along the left leg. So I have my left leg out right now, okay? Behind the left leg, into the back of the knee, up the glute, and maybe a little bit into that low back area, okay? So stay here. And then if you wanna take it farther, bring the shoulders away from the ears, Take your right hand on the outside of your left calf. Walk your left hand around, just as if someone were to call your name behind you on the left and you wanted to see who it was. So leaning in a little bit of a twist. And then we'll come back to the leg, reach forward again. Okay. This time come up and just point the toe this time and walk the feet down, or the hands down, not your feet. And then we'll come up and we'll switch. So this time I'm going to bring my left leg in, my right leg out, nice and tall. I'll walk forward. Okay, again, I'm going to stay tall, so I might not be able to touch my toes right now, and that's fine. Okay, it will come. So settle in, make sure you guys are breathing in and breathing out. Your breath is a huge factor in how this stuff works. If you want, you can take your left hand on the outside of your right calf, twist, from the shoulders and just peek behind your right shoulder for a bigger stretch. If you don't feel anything, you can lean forward a little bit. Come back to the center, so back to that outstretched foot, and then we'll point the toe this time and lean forward a little bit more. Good. The next one we're going to do is to play on our cat-cow or tabletop position. So, come on your hands and knees. You can start with just some regular cat cow, so inhale up, exhale back. Okay, this time though, what I want you to do is extend your right foot out so your toes on the ground and you'll peek towards that right foot and then we'll switch. So your left foot will go out and you'll peek and twist around. So we'll try that one more time, right foot goes out, peek around the right foot. And then one more time, left leg out, sweeping two. Okay. Good, we'll go back to your cat cow. So inhale, chest up. Exhale, come in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go back. Good, bring your big toes to the other knees apart. You'll sit back into your child's pose. You can bring your head on your forearm. Breathe in here. Okay, extend the arms straight out. Walk your hands to the right. Send the left hip back. Head down. Breathe into your rib cage. Okay, 
Inhale, come up, and then exhale as you go to the other side. Come back to the center. We'll reach the arms out again one more time. Reach, 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 reach. And then we'll come up. Okay. So that's just a really quick video, guys, about a few things that you can do at home. You can spend longer in those stretches, shorter. You can add, take away. But again, anytime we're feeling exceptionally sore and stiff, the most important thing is for you to keep moving drinking tons of water, eating really well, um, still coming to your workouts if you feel up to it, but also giving yourself a little bit of leeway, leeway that you are a human. We are not robots, uh, and it's important to listen to our bodies. So enjoy, and we'll see you guys soon in the gym.